Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to work through an example together of a hypothesis test where the population standard deviation, or sigma, is known. So here's our setup. The manufacturer of a sports car claims that the fuel injection system lasts 48 months before it needs to be replaced. A consumer group tests this claim by surveying a random sample of 10 owners who had the fuel injection system replaced. It was found that the mean of the sample was 45.3 months, and we know that sigma, or the population standard deviation, is 8.61 months. So we want to test the claim that the fuel injection system lasts less than an average of 48 months before needing replacement. Use a 10% level of significance. All right, just like every hypothesis test, we need to start by writing a pair of hypothesis statements. So since we are working with a mean, we're going to have both of those hypothesis statements in relation to mu. So we want to make our null hypothesis a statement of equality. So we're going to have mu equals 48 months. And the claim will go in our alternative hypothesis, and that is that mu is less than 48 months. Okay, so then drawing that on a distribution so that we can get an idea, since we have mu less than 48, we're going to have a one-sided left-tailed test. So what we want to figure out is our z critical value. With an alpha or a significance level of 10%, we can do, we can find that value one of two ways. It is something that we might want to have memorized, right? We have those couple that we want to know. So 10% level of significance we know is going to be negative 1.28. But if not, then we can take alpha over 2, or that 0.1 over 2, which would be 0 0.05, and use inverse normal to find the z-score that corresponds with an area of 0 0.05 in the tail. All right, now that we have that, we need to calculate our z star or our test statistic. So because we're working with months or a mean here of months and we have our known sigma, then that will be x bar minus mu over our standard error for the sampling distribution, or sigma divided by square root n. So for this particular case, x bar is 45.3, mu is 48, sigma is 8.61, and n is the number in our sample, or 10. So using our calculator to get this value, I get negative 0.992. So now that we have our test statistic, we want to put that also on our distribution and see if we land in our rejection region. So here's zero. Right here is our value, negative 1.28. A value of negative 0.992 would probably be somewhere around there. Therefore, we are not in our rejection region, and our conclusion would be that we fail to reject. Whenever we are rejecting or failing to reject, we are always making that statement about our null hypothesis. Okay, So what we're going to say is we can't reject this null hypothesis, but our claim was in the alternative hypothesis. So we will say there is not enough evidence to support the claim that the system, the fuel injection system, lasts less than 48 months. All right, guys, that does it for this example video on a hypothesis test with a known population standard deviation. Until next time, we'll see you in a future video.